Hello, welcome back to How to RV. I am Jason, and today I want to talk about hitching up your travel trailer. So the things that we're going to go over are the things that I do. First is going to be talking about the ball itself. Now, what I do with mine is I keep it greased. So I'll clean it off and put some fresh grease on top of it. Now, with that being said, there's a lot of controversy out there on whether or not you need to do that or not. Um, I do mine because I like to keep the squeak down. So, you know, when the trailer and the camper move together, it keeps the squeak down. If you want to put your point of view on the topic, put something down in the description below about what you think about it. Since we're talking about lubrication, I like to lubricate this this is the little lock that you open up so that you can put the end of this down on top of the ball and then slide this back forward so that you can lock it in place but over time it's going to start to rust or try to lock up on you and it's going to be hard to move and not lock in securely so what i'll do is put some lubrication on it work it back and forth a few times and keep it nice and lubricated so that it's easy to hitch up something else that you need to be careful about is the thing called highballing that means a hitch right here. If you have it in the lock position already and you put it on top of the ball, it's not gonna seat completely on top of the ball and not be locked down. So what that means is that if you don't have it hitched all the way down, you go down the road and hit a bump, it's a good chance that your trailer is gonna come off of the ball and it's not gonna be a pretty day. So what you need to do is to go ahead and have that latch in the retracted position. That way, when you put it down on the ball, it'll seat properly before you have to lock it. So that goes back to why I grease the ball because when I put the trailer down on top, it just slides right on top of the ball it's a whole lot easier so i guess it goes for more than just squeaking it helps a lot with putting the trailer on top of the ball itself i also want to throw out some safety tips so if you are backing up your vehicle to the ball and you have somebody in between kind of directing you in telling you which way to go with the back of the truck to line up the ball to your trailer just be careful there you know you got somebody in between your trailer and your truck make sure that they know where they're standing so that if something goes wrong if your truck moves too far or the trailer slips they're not in danger just make sure you know just kind of watch where they're standing now that we've gone over all of that i'm gonna go ahead and drop the trailer onto the ball and we'll talk about the next steps now that i've got everything hooked up i've got the chains hooked up and i've got the plug plugged in I want to go ahead and get my lock on, but before we get the lock on, or at least talking about the lock and the reason for that, um, there is speculation on whether or not you take these chains right here, you know, the ones that you hook to your vehicle so that if the ball thing does come loose, then the trailer doesn't just go away from the vehicle, it at least stays attached somewhat or somehow. But anyway, um, there's controversy on whether or not you take the chains and you cross them over before hooking them to your tow vehicle, and some just say leave them straight. I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't see where there's a difference one way or the other. Leave down in the description below on what your thoughts about that are. All right, now that we're all tucked up in here and get ready to do the last step is putting the lock on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lock on here and go ahead and lock it. The reason for doing that is to make sure that this tab doesn't pop up. This is the whole thing that's keeping this attached to your vehicle if you go over any kind of bumps. So go ahead, put the lock on there, lock it so that it can't go anywhere. Just a quick tip, the lock here is good for when you get to your campground or wherever you're gonna be when you disconnect your trailer from your vehicle so that you can lock it so nobody could take off with your trailer if you're not there. All right, so that just about does it. Like I said, if you have any comments about how you hitch up your trailer, put it down in the comments below. Until the next time, hitch up safely, enjoy your trips, and God bless.